maybe a couple of disavow high. Too high? Last time. Yeah. Should when be that, right when it, now. When it peaked, it was just slightly peaky f over us. Yeah. Uh, so it was, you know, 85% okay. It was just those, those odd times where it was just over overwhelming. I might turn it down so, a bit then. Well, I've got I've got mine like minus twelve decibels dB versus buddy the mic volume. Fifty. And we just come in, we come in hard. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hard. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, that should be good now. I turn down. I turn down my. Master and engine. Turn down my outputs just in case you come through real loud. Yeah, I do. I am a bit loud. <coughs> Not gonna you lie. You came through pretty good. I, after, after having a look at the old streams the other day, I think you came in pretty good. Yeah. We're about the same. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <It's> nice. <laughs> Nerds. Yeah, right, mine should be all sorted. Are you live? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Live Rocking it. it. <laughs> I'm just gonna check everything. Ooh, in. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Driver info, <laughs> commentator names. Oh, I need to fix commentator names. Oh, I and the. Right, check it out, mate. <laughs> yep. what, 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 what name do you want? Uh, I've got Aaron O'Brien, then I've got Zneptic, aka Double Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Diesel tonight. Coming on to Captain Diesel. I might change mine to aka Hagen. <laughs> Magnum P wine. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> well, Alex is one of the few that's uh <coughs> Well, it's a sunny day, 2 degrees, 20 miles in the air, 30 on the street. Not going to pronounce the name because I suck at it. Grand <laughs> P. So what do we got? Two Beamers, four Audis, one Chev, one heap of Mercs. Four Audi, <coughs> one, two, three, four, five. Mercedes. If I was there, I'd be in a in the Caddy. No, what am I on? What, what are you racing? Uh, I'll be in the C. I'll be in the Merc. How's that? I'm big nuts himself, John I'll be Rachel. In the Callaway. Is the C7 or the C7? Yeah, wait for Kalen. He had a stupid time. Corvette. Quite like that. Because it's the only one I got. So yeah, that's a nice oh, thing, Chevy. <laughs> We've got one Porsche, which is old. The Porsche man, Heath Cockrum. <laughs> Cockrum Racing. He doesn't cock much things up. 
But when he does, he rams. Fuck, <laughs> 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 Steve, I thought he sucks. Jesus Christ. Alright, here's, here's the alien himself. Merck's are hard to um, tame. Hard to tame and hard to get past. I don't think they had a bleep. physics update yet, eh? Hey? I'm actually not sure. Oh, what am I clicking? It's okay. It's okay. Yellow theme tonight. What's Brody done? Oh, yeah. What's Kaylin got to smash out here? Oh. I'm actually surprised he went for the um the Shiv Kaylin, but I guess he went for the OP thing. Or he just some Chevys. I think, I think it's a good car for every track. Yeah. It's not... It's good everywhere, I find. You know, it's got good acceleration. You can turn, uh, turn in quite, quite well, quite good. Yeah. Oh, it won't let me on board. It's copyrighted. I just love the sound of this car. The M6 is so good. Alex is pretty consistent in this, so he's doing a good job. Oh, Brody's got the Audi coming. Taking point one out of Wow. Point for old Audi. <laughs> Scuba Steve? I don't even know. DSR Scuba? Yeah, yeah, Scuba I, Steve. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think it is. Oh, it's I've Scuba. called him that. Yeah, he's my favourite scuba diver. <laughs> Here's the Larco of Oz NZ. Stevo. Stevo. Currently in position two. Currently the points leader. By a stupid amount. By how much? Uh, oh, that's right. 91 to 61, so he's a hit. Hit a Kalen. Got, got a good hit. But Brody's on this, so should be good to fight today. <coughs> oh, yeah. Steve O's up. Here we go. He's gonna pip him. Oh, wow. Just about a 55. Stupid. And it all came from the last sector. <laughs> they were pretty much match for match all the way through. Well, Kalen hasn't posted a lap yet. I think he's he's keeping it low. He's gonna bust out big one at the end. All right, I can see Kalen, Kerry, both. He haven't yeah. done a lap yet. And then he'll whip one out. Brody looping it. So was Steve O's time was like <laughs> I can do better. <laughs> yeah. Here we got here, 
both the Mr. Consistency. Niv Rom, he's very, uh, not far off. <laughs> Only like a one second gap. Yeah. <laughs> That's stupid, eh? It's like, oh yeah, you're not fast enough, Rob. Pick it up, mate. Sort it out. Yeah. Gotta stuff those bottoms, mate. As you say. Turn up the force feedback on your sweet machine. Yeah, your DD, double Ds, GGs, whatever they're called. Your double D. <laughs> <laughs> Double Great. D, 36 G, cut, something. Oh, both are nice. So far on the grid, we've got 13. That's pretty uh, okay. We were... Uh, yeah, are there any more? Yes, yes, we'd be two down because we're here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, haven't seen Mad Crab. He's not in yet. Nah. He's probably doing similar things to oneself. Right, I'm gonna start my bad boy up. I was gonna go away, but I haven't gone. I really need to go find Shit. my commentator's beverages. Yeah, I got a box right beside me. Going live. What, what's Brady Shaw gonna do here? P4 is his best. Fucking hell. We don't often say you need to pick it up, Bradshaw. Yeah, yeah. Here's the only Porsche. Oh, yeah. The godfather of uh, AUS and Z. He's the Cockram Heart. <laughs> The hitman. In a multi coloured 69 Fanta loving car. Wow. He's really off the pace and he slid it out. Do a, do a burn out now. God, Steve O's stupidly fast. Pick it up, so yeah, do it very loudly. I've got to really fix that picture of me and my twitch, eh? <laughs> Before I, I jumped know, out a, of a... It's jump, a champion smile. Yeah, yeah. Jumping out of a plane. GG. I hope you've changed your your hair since. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's actually black. It, it used to be a lot longer, but now it's... um. <laughs> it's rock along? Uh, it used to be, and I cut it all off. Then, um, no. yeah, I'm just growing it back. Oh, I want to fuck a mohawk again, but I guess you're going to sort of be an adult, you know? No, you don't. No need. Oh, Kalen just put wrong. Now he's got his groove. Yeah. Must be sandbagging. That is a nice car, though. One thing most room has is best sounding cars. What do you, what's he here? Oh, no. God, two hundreds. One, one, two, three. Bloody hell. Dylan Lester. I think he's new to the group. Pretty oh, sure. D-man. Yeah. 
Marcelo Pinon. Come on, mate. Here you go. Good time, I'm man. My fingers crossed for Kerry. Hopefully, you can get some good buddy uh, yeah. good luck this race. Yeah. He was actually doing here. really well. Yeah. Mr. Smith. He's in the Audi, so that's stable shit. So I think he'd be alright. Where is Hexy? Are they just not posted a time? Oh, he's in the in the the BMW. So yeah, I think he's. What's Kalen up here? The other BMWer. I was well, going to BMW it, but... I'll be back before... Right, it's better go find these things. Yeah, mate. Looks like Kayla's going to put the time. Oh, mm. bit loose there. Come on, Kalen. You going to do this time, mate? Come on, Kerry. What'd you get there, mate? Jesus. Just about a 55. Fuck! <laughs> Alright, yeah, he's up. Wow, I've never seen Rachel quality so low. Ish. We're in high racing, yeah. But. That's a cut track. What do we got here? 58694. Not a bad time. Here we go. Scuba Steve. Oh, you're off on your sector. Well, here we go. Steve O, Caitlin, Broads, Roms, Bradshaw, Flixo, Scoob Steve, Boothy, Lester, Alex, Heath, and Kerry. Look at those times! Holy shit! They did like the equal times, Steve O and Caitlin. Fuck, I've never seen that before. Murado, <laughs> what happened? Uh, Steve and Kalen have the exact same time, 56001. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, it is a good time. Yeah, it's a very good time. Happy time? Long time? Alright, 30 seconds. Better roll a smoke for the start. Ooh. I don't endorse smoking, but I do it. Right here we go. Uh, we might do it. We're on Heath here. Ah, uh, shit. This is race And here we go. Steve O, good and we're start. Racing. Alright, first corner. Looks like and we've we're got about... a wave of Mercedes coming ripping down. <laughs> yeah. The mine Literally. straight coming into the corner, full wide. Pretty clean, yeah. pretty clean. Oh, but why did my birthday? 
Very clean. Stavos off. As soon as he gets the smell. And Rob's in second already. Bradshaw's dropped the place. And Hayes copped it. Pixie must have started from the pits. Yeah, oh, Hexie must be AFK, fuck. Carrier Boothy battling. Oh, Carrier, you go off, mate. Here we are with Broads. He's caught down a slowdown already. Using track limits, classic. Oh, hit, hit a bit of the, the sausage jar in the corner. Dust is good jar. <laughs> so, top three Steve over on Broads. Oh, Broads is going to go for wrong. No. He's going to go on the inside. Oh, no, not enough power on the oh. Audi there. Roads are stuffing Rom's ass, literally. <laughs> Pixie's a lap down. I think he might uh, have uh, something wrong with his engine. Or his pit crew screwed something up, maybe. Spaghetti old. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Broads is all over Rob. Very clean. Surprised Rob didn't get a cut track for that. Oh, Broads on the outside? No. Beast off. These two are battling and Kalen's managed to catch up. He might die by my corner. Not really die bombing, but. <laughs> nice. Overtake by Brody there. Stevo's just gingerly up by four seconds. Side by side here. Hi Steve-o. Bit of room to breathe there. Kalen. Late breaking. Overshot. Overshot by a mile. Broad saw that. Jeez, did he walk? <laughs> yeah. I've oh, just look. got my pictures back up. Had a bit of a, <laughs> bit of a bug out. Experiencing some Technical difficulties. Yeah. Flick now, flicks are wrong. It looks like we're back up. Little incident between Scuba Steve and uh, Chester Lester. Bradshaw's up there now, as soon as he gets a snuff. Rightio, what's happened, Stiggy? What's happened so far? Uh, Carlin went off, he's to six now. So he's went oh, for yes, a big I dive first there. corner. He's right back behind Bradshaw. Yeah, now him and Bradshaw are battling. Just cracking another beer. While I'm at it. Good show, old chap. <laughs> <laughs> 
Rachel might be defensive right here. Cheers, mate. Yeah, cheers. Cheers to the viewers that are watching. If there are any. <laughs> Shout out to Benny, he's got a headache. So uh, we're having a beer for you, mate. Just don't shout out too loud. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> too much farming this morning, Benny. Too much sugar cane. Tell oh, you. That sugar. That sugar gets to the head. <laughs> yeah, it does. Too much sugar caning will give you a headache. Oh, and Kalen just passed Bradshaw. Roman Flexo. Flixo's come back with a vengeance. He had a good break for a few months and came back yes. fresh. He, he definitely drives exceptionally well when angry. Like, yeah, he does. I've seen him angry and shit he's fast. <laughs> yeah. Here we are, Boothy and uh, Scoob Steve. Boothy might go on the inside. Nah, he's clever. Oh, Scoob, oh, oh yeah, oh, he's going to line up for the second cut. Yeah. Underneath. Oh, Ooh, and who's that off? <laughs> and Flexo talking about yeah, yeah, consistent. Yeah. Oh, and angry. He has no front bonnet. He doesn't need it. He would have lost a bit of pace there. He will start uh, getting up on those curbs. When he's angry, he drives on those curbs. Might go it's like they're not even there. Phil want to go on the inside here. Oh, yeah, nice overtake. Oh. Yeah, and Alex gets in there as well. Thanks Please for Felix coming. Might be suffering a wee bit of understeer yeah. now. Hopefully, he has his repairs on. His pit crew knows. Hopefully. Hopefully, it's a Roger that flicks out. If he doesn't, we'll just have to drag in here and have a word. Kalen's punched back up to fourth after a big dive bomb fail. Or a big, uh, forgot my brakes.com. <laughs> and he's going to go on the inside. No, looking. He wants that second. Wants those points on Stevo. Stevo's five seconds ahead now, so he's pulled a second up. Wow. Now, he's, he's grooving. Kalen's going to have a snuffy arrow and he's going on the inside. Not much of a Chevy driver, so I don't know how these cars handle, but... Oh, they're just good. <laughs> <laughs> they're just good. They're just good. Well, I run quite a lot of positive tow. Yeah. They turn and come through quite nice. I don't seem to have any reason not to do it. I've always got tire at the end and... All that sort of jazz. Don't, temperatures don't get too crazy. Definitely yeah. way, turns them way better than not doing it, having yeah. a negative. Which is its default. I don't know, it's just the way I drive. Rob's doing 59s and Kalen's up 57s. I wonder what sort of fuel he's running. That sugar cane. Yeah. <laughs> that, that ethanol. Stuff. Yeah, that. <laughs> Organic fuel. <laughs> oh no! He's using that whole curb. Right, oh yes indeed. Steve O has got that big lead, doesn't he, on the old point? Yeah, stupid. So he's Kalen will be trying to get up there. At least he's gonna try and get ahead of Brody. Yeah, you gotta Brody's there, he's pretty settled now. He's pulled another second on Rom. These two are battling. Yeah. Bradshaw's is ticking away. They pulled two seconds on him. See that I find with the Corvette and the Mercedes, whoever's got the best run out of the corner gets to the other end quicker. That's cool. Oh, where's Fl what's Fluxo up to? Is he uh, pitted? It's a hundred percent damaged. I don't know if he's going to pit. There's quite a lot. Yeah. In my book, 100% is quite up there.
Kalen's using all the track there, yeah. keeping in all mirrors. It's going to come and have a wee look over here, get back inside. No worries. Rob's an Italian stallion when it comes to lines. He's very defensive. Doesn't want anyone to take his meatball. It's a spicy meatball. Yeah. Nobody else is. <laughs> All mine. Rom being in fourth, won't want to let Kalen pass. Yeah, he's Rom's third. It's correction there. Champagne chow. Oh, no, <laughs> Fourth on the uh, fourth in the point. Oh yes, he's in the point. So he's going to be defensive. Oh, mistake there. Oh, tops it away, closes the door. Not oh, coming Kalen's, through. Kalen's racing bloody well. Cool little kid, eh? I oh, I love little Kalen. Just stupidly quick. If he can beat all the best guys in race room, that, that tells you, you know. When he's famous, he better remember us. <laughs> oh, someone's in the pits. Flexo's in the pits still, or is that Higsy? Oh, uh, lost my internet again. Are you? Yeah, Flexo's in the pits. I don't know. We, we, we'll drag him down, eh? See what... See what's happened. <laughs> it's Flexo. Hey Flexo, what happened there, mate? Uh, I won't fix my front arrow. I'm using Crew Chief to um try and fix my front arrow, but it's not doing it. Oh, that's weird. Can't... Well, unlucky there, Flexo. Uh, got a bit of a oh, bit of a concern, mate. It's uh, not a good day. I was chasing. Third place? Yeah. Not happy place there. What happened? Uh, I picked the wrong gear and spun it around. Hmm. Uh, did It'll you do it every time. Did you bind your buttons to Q W E R? For uh, it to work? No. Uh, that's I used. Yeah, I used voice pit though. Yeah, it's weird. It's not working. Yeah, I'm gonna have another go at it again. I can't race like this without a front wing. Yeah. Yeah, we saw a bit of understeer coming in uh, on some of those corners. You just couldn't keep up with those guys. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it for a hard day on the track. Yeah, Jesus. Oh, sorry about that, mate. Uh, it's part of racing, brother. So how it is? Yeah, good days and yeah, bad. Days. Yeah, we we're just talking about you. Then all of a sudden we're like, oh, where the hell's this front? <laughs> oh, it's this bloody uh, commentator's curse, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just hey, said nothing ever. Next time. <laughs> nothing ever happens to Felix. <laughs> yeah. Brody, mate. Pick on Brody and, and Chin, man. Yeah, yeah. We will, mate. We'll be trying that, too. You go work on them. All right. All right. Good luck, mate. No worries, mate. I'll keep pitting until I get this bloody thing to work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Special guest there, uh, Flexo from the pits. It's pit crew shit apparently. Oh, and Chin is fun. He keeps telling them to put a new front on, but they're just not gonna do it. Yeah. That's when you, you fire your whole team and just don't rely on technology. Get the chalkboard out, write new front on it. Yeah, we need the. The Larco whiteboard. Chin made two two errors this race. Bit of a late break. Saw an opening. Overshot. Second one just tapped from a bit and physics has happened. And he's up John again. John's surprisingly slow. Yes, he is very slow. Mm. Huh? <laughs> no, yeah, I'm not. I'm, yeah, it's. Saw me very well up on the pace, but. I think Chin might go for the overtake here. Yeah. 
Oh, he didn't leave any room there. And hit the sausage. Yeah. Sheep doesn't like that sausage. Yeah, you got to have a special taste for sausage, I don't mind. Actually, uh, the sausages in the game at the moment feel really good. Like, especially um, with the TCR-19s. Oh, yeah, they, uh, uh, they, they're quite welcoming to the sausage. Yeah, they uh, surprisingly don't flip you as they used to. Well, that is some great news. Yeah, shout out to Sector 3 for that one. Thank you for fixing the sausage. Not having as much gravy on my car as I used to. Well, for those guys in Mystery, I may have missed a, uh, a wee bit out of the stream there, but we just had Flexo in for a bit of a yard telling us about his uh, spin off and how he lost his front. And he's having some issues in the pits. Boy's not quite hearing his request for a new front, so he's going to continue to keep trying. But as he say, that is racing. That is. Uh, that is some of the ups and downs that we experience in this world. It's very unlike Mercedes to do that. They're usually a sharp team. Yes. <laughs> and they so usually they usually listen to their drivers, and if they want a new front, they get one. Yeah. I don't know what they they might be on strike. Some sort of union thing might be happening at the moment, so you never know what's happening. And I reckon on Stevo. Stevo may have paid them off. And they're working for his team. Yeah. Although he probably doesn't need any pits because he's never going to come in. <laughs> are they going? Are they going to need a pit today, Sticky? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Main Rachel's boy. leading him by. Gave him a lot Rachel of flash. Rachel flashed the shit out of Caitlin. It didn't yeah. work. Nah, I think it's a. Uh, that's the sign in racing for just fucking pass me. Get out of here. I think John just wants to punch laps and finish the race cleanly. Are we going to? Are we going to need a pit? I think. I reckon we. Uh, depends what sort of strategy they run. Actually, I can't remember if I pitted or not. I remember pitting once in the AD. Yeah. That was uh, the, well, the first one. Because the fuel is a lot different, say, if you run a set of Corsa Competition, well, you have you a do... tank of like a hundred and something litres, but in this it's a lot less. Is there a, there's a comp compulsory stop in this? Isn't yes, there should be. It's the old two tyre stop. I might just check with uh, the, the rule book. Just have a weird look there, I can't read, so you can Race you do that. App. He sneaks a wee slowdown. Oh, Brody. Unlike him. <coughs> Missed the consistency. He just put his best lap oh. in. Kalen, well, that's normal. It's and Brody slowest. again. Oh. He's going to get a dry through if he doesn't slow down. <laughs> Brody and Steve. Scuba Steve. Uh, Sitting in seventh. He's doing quite well. Yes. Brucey will uh, slowly drag him in, maybe. It'll be a good wee battle. I do love the Audi. It looks good in black. Yeah, it does. Rachel's back Rachel. up there. In for a nearly, really turn in. <laughs> Here we go. He's right up his ass. And yeah, Caleb well pulls right. over. Was that? Yeah, that's Caitlin. Gave him a flash. I'm guessing he was talking to him. No, he had a slowdown. I reckon. Oh, here's Boothie. Oh, oh did he get that. this? Yeah, went a bit wide. He's going to switch back underneath. Oh, no. Duck it. Scuba Steve falls Boothie's back to eight. Kalen's. Boothie, clean path. Kalen's willy nilly. Must be that Americana. 
Yeah, it's a big motor. It's a big motor to handle. You're gonna be a big boy to... <coughs> you gotta... You gotta wear gloves. Scuba's yeah. got the bloody light flashing going on and... Oh, good man. That won't work on full, mate. Full doesn't run mirrors. Back to the battle of Mr. Second Cummings and Kale and Chin. Are they getting tight? Oh no, John's pulling the lead. Kalen's out in the dirt. Oh no, that's not dirt. Just a similar colour that I can't distinguish. Here's a bit of an old board. We'll have a look at uh, Mr. Bradshaw's Mercedes ass from here. See how our lady breaks. Oh, we can see your chin there. Oh. Oh, get him? John's a bit wide there. Oh, he might get him on the straight here. But the American, the uh, Sheba, pretty strong. Oh, John's blocking. Oh, fucking bottle broke. What the fuck? Oh, he's... Ah, just gonna fix us. <laughs> oh, they've gone. Where are they going? Back to the TV. Halen sneaks out a wee bit extra width to get around the next corner on a tighter line. Oh, not bad at all. What a great race between the two nations. Between the American build and the Euro. Swap places about three times now, so they must have a certain drinks at a certain point. Sorry, Caelan's now putting the foot down. Yeah. I think as fuel goes on, I think the Merc will take over. Depends on his tyres, though. Well, I'm wondering if he was. I wonder who started light fuel. Yeah. Stevo probably started like fuel. Yeah, I reckon Stevo's got to put, he's got to try and cop a lead, but. So he's got six seconds, so hopefully so he has enough gap to add the required amount of fuel within the same, within the time gain. Yeah. He's got seven seconds, that'll add, or oh, what do they say, put about 45 litres of fuel in about 10 seconds. Depending on what he needs to get home. I'm on board here with Scuba Steve. Sorry if you don't like that name, but I gave it to you now. <laughs> yeah. DSR. Yeah, it's pretty much default. I think uh, I think we've I've pulled him out in the last couple of three streams here. Yeah, oh, yeah. Booty, oh, it's right up Booty's ass. But Booty's, as soon as he gets his stuff for a bit of a lead. Very consistent, Boothy. He was really good in the 24 hours at Le Mans. Just solid, just super solid. A bit of a solid contender. Uh, we're doing double stints over the night. And yeah, he was just great. Just absolutely great. Couldn't praise him more for his driving, really. It's a shame he's up more further up. He's such a good driver. But I guess so we, we have all our niches, you could say. Oh, overshot there a bit, Steve-o. Scuba Steve. The fucking well, beer broke in my um, box, bro. Mate. Yeah. I thought Felix was having a bad day. <laughs> yeah, I know. Gutted. <laughs> Legit. Nothing worse. Commentator's curse. <laughs> 
You thought the front falling off your car was a bad yeah. day? Try yeah. breaking a beer. I just broke a beer. <laughs> Flixo has had a pit. Ah, oh, so those green things say he's pitted. So they do have to pit. What green thing? You know, in the score sheet? You see where their names are, you see a green thing. So they've got a pit. D Lester, haven't seen much of this, it's beautiful skin that, and yeah, it's gone. Impact. Impact? There's a few that say they have Yeah, so the red means they have, the green means they haven't. Oh, the green means they have, the red means they haven't. They have. Which one is it? Uh, green, <laughs> they're pitted, red, they haven't. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Cockrum. Cockram, they have a, a company here in Christchurch, Cockram, and back to this Cochram battle of the Audis, yeah. I know the one. Cockram Motors or something, something. I can't remember what it is. The, uh, the Nissan, Nissan dealership, I believe. Yeah, yeah, that, that is, shout out Christchurch. Work, work. And on that front, uh, we have a new, say, sponsor of, say, Uniphone in Dunedin. Dumbass. Gonna be providing internet and power for our service. Dylan and Lester with the slowdown. So we're running the slowdown penalty system on this race. Yeah, <laughs> they they have full slowdown, but you don't know if it works until you see someone actually gain some position. I quite like. Well, with tracks with corners, well, oh, corners that are. Well, tracks <laughs> all have corners, but, big you know. Most of them most have corners, yes. So Road America is a tricky because of the lengths of straight in between. Yeah. Where a tighter track, I can say, lead, lead off early, coast in behind someone, and then break to match the speed going into the corners, and I can scrub off a slowdown penalty without too much actual loss of time. Yeah, I hate but on that. a bigger track, yeah. There's not, you don't get, you only get 40 seconds or whatever it is to do it. Brands Hatch, I cut the track oh. a little bit last night and I had a six second cut, cut track. I was like, what the hell? Palin's right up Rom's ass. Oh, he's, he's showing mirrors. He's, yeah, literally. <coughs> and Rom's leaving nothing. Literally. Rob didn't take the bait. Rob's just an Italian stallion when it comes to defending. And Mr. Bradshaw has pitted. I've finally seen your mandatory pit window on the overlay screen. How about that? It's Bradshaw now pitted. And Heath is pitting. Yes. <clears throat> he will now try and make the big gains on the people that are still out on worn tyres. And hopefully yeah, catch it. I think. What's the Chev like on tyres? Uh, and Kalen's right up there. It's actually, I didn't think it was too bad to be fair. Like, even, and then when tyres got down, it just, you slowed down, you lost time, but it didn't feel like you were losing time. It felt like you are doing this, the same lap, just with, without having to, you had to trim off maybe 10Ks, 20Ks off your cornering speed. Oh, and chins in for the pit. And uh, chins in with Bradshaw. And, and he... Brody's in. Oh, so here come the men. 30 minutes on the dot. Steve-O's in. Rom's ahead. So Rom what, probably wants to get a bit of an extended lead on this. His last lap being a 59. Gotta be careful, it's not really quick enough to be making the gains in the quad. Ah, oh, it is actually. Yeah. Only a second and a half off pace, so he's still. The bat uh, markers are doing something clever. That was a bit wide, boosty. Um, if they're clever, they'll try and extend the lead for a couple laps. Then do a putt. That'll be clever. That's what I'll try and do. Like. 
you do it like sort of like F1, you know, if like shit, well I'm down to 10, so I'll pit when the guy in front of me pits, sort of thing, mentality. Mr. Bradshaw back up to 8th. Oh, he's smashing out 57th now, so. Back to Boothie and Scuba Steve. A couple of extra technical difficulties on my end here for another couple of seconds. Hold tight. Kerry Smith's got to slow down. Wonderful work from the helicopter crew today. Shout out to, oh, what would she call it? My uncle's uh, helicopter company, Green Air. It's a green air. When you need air that's green, call Green Air. <laughs> it's a battle of the Audis. Trackside static camer cameras here at work, people. Are they going to put the slap? I reckon they're going to put. Yeah, they're going to put. They're going to put. Yeah, both these putting. Scuba Steve's going out for another lap. He can smell that snorkel. And Mr. Rom is in. Coming into pits with uh, Boothy here. Hopefully his pit crew's ready. Ramazan Stebo is pitted Brody is out Kalen oh wow there's only three seconds in there Rom is out oh, that sound of that Merc thundering down pit lane is always exciting and he's going to come out in front of Bradshaw so this should be a good battle the same team and they won't turn in to each other well, well there you go Bradshaw's early pit is paid off good Catching strategy wrong. he's got less fuel <laughs> now doesn't have uh, those, cold tires those extra couple of laps that Ron done would have been at a slower pace versus Bradshaw on his new tires that's where that's the the advantage of the early but then of course you're going to wear out at the other end so we'll see how it plays out for Rom if he's got better tire at the other side yeah I think uh, Bradshaw did the eye racing bit which was clever very clever which is unusual for John mm. <laughs> oh the position he's in at the moment I think <laughs> yeah I would have done the exact same I would I just would have put a first get out of the way make up that time then everyone's still punching laps then they put then you're like sweet you're still on the pace he's punching 57 so he'll be lighter less fuel oh Kerry Smith too keen to get on it yeah and Catches a drive through, drive -through penalty. no they have dropped the hammer Bradshaw and Rom. Steve-O's already pulled away to eight seconds. Fuck me. I think my uh, hit um, indicators are a wee bit out from... Uh, I just had to re, re log into the server. I've only got four with greens. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's only Scoob Steve. So he's putting at the moment. And then that's it? Yeah. Oh, and Higsy. And Higgs. But Higsy, I don't know what's happening. Who's Higgs? Yeah, he's 13th. It's not even on my list. <laughs> yeah, he's on my list. Pick it up, Higsy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sort it out, mate. Too slow for my overlay. <laughs> yeah. Get that beamer on track, mate. No, he, could, he could probably uh, have jumping kids around in pit lane or something like that. You never know. Children. Children could be ripping around somewhere. 
I could have lost the kid at the Nuremberg Ring or the Norse Life Track, so. No, it's life track. Yeah, he probably uh, went for a drive on the Norse Life Track with his kids, so. Yeah, you put him yeah, in the wrong way. Yeah. This is the old left turn and it's yeah. right on. Doing the whole lap. Doing the big boy lap. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. He probably took out the, the family Camry and just a nice Sunday drive. PC for the win, the Toyota Camry. It is a top car. Top car for doing a scenic Nürburgring. Very fuel efficient. You can probably get about 16 laps in, as the amount that Higgsy has done at the moment. That is quite amazing. I never would have thought it would have been <laughs> that much. Yeah. How the fuck did my beers break? I'm still trying to figure that out. I think it was the uh, dancing. Yeah, I don't don't dance much, right? I used to. And you broke too many beers. Yeah. So you stopped. I, I got a, I got a bit excited. So the battle here is fifty sevens. We'll get a good view. This, here we go. Do you reckon they improve the graphics? Well, I don't know. Well, I reckon, I reckon the cars look a bit cleaner. Yeah, they actually do. The boys in the VR are saying that it's not as much pixelation, <laughs> which is, which is a massive deal. Yeah. Yeah. That's a I I had my VR on and. I found it a bit too much. I couldn't quite pinpoint apexes from for my style of whatever I do. Yeah. And I've gone back to my screens, and now I'm getting a stutter, which means I can't race. But yeah. Oh, that sucks. Oh, Johnny, a bit wide there. Very uncommon. Excellent line, though. Oh, <coughs> they might have got an yeah, extra. Yeah, he's got a. Go on up. Rom's living in a wee bit of room. They seem to be sponsored by the same team, so if it's team orders. You never know what will happen. He might just break in the start finish and just let him by. Yeah, well, there's two match for pace. Uh, fast lap by Bradshaw is a 158.1, and Rom is a 158.06. So, pretty close. Pretty close time together. So, tough call for team management who, yeah. who gets right yeah. away. John's doing everything. Yeah, I let this, these tricks off him. He'll drag him over. Keep making Rom if he wants the if he wants the oh. ear. Yeah, Rom will Rom will go a bit late here. Oh no, he's not going late. John might go a bit wide. Nah, he's right. How old is line? Might have to uh, see what our. Uh, I wonder what team orders are. team orders are happening at the moment. I'd, Love to be in the pub. Waterarena.de. This is the shit. A, flick us the line. Or yeah, yeah. Tell us, tell us what you're thinking, Auto. Waterarena.de. Waterarena. Arena. Arena. Yeah, that's so weird. Oh, Achievements so are weird. Well, it comes up in the phone book first, because Order Arena B. They'll be like, ah, damn it. And it looks like their sponsors are Fanta, but it doesn't. Fanta, for all the good times <laughs> in one day. It's just a whole bunch of words blotted together with 24. Because it is over there, 24. It is. How do you say KFZ? <laughs> yeah. KFZ 24. I can do KFC. KFZ. I think Rob might be falling off the pace. Johnny's uh, doing 57s. Oh, he found a bit of pace extra, is he? That was from his invalid lap, was it?
Are they making any ground on the boys in front? Probably... No. steve is just stupidly ahead. He has eight seconds on Brody. Yeah. Wish we could say you're too fast. <laughs> I would drag Steve on here, but he's like all about concentration. But the points don't matter, so it should be okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So everyone has now put it. They say my indicators aren't exactly working, and you have to fill me yes. in there. Yeah, everyone's put it, mate. Yeah, I guess the window, the window will be closed anyway now. Yeah. Yeah, it should yeah. be now. Yeah. Dust is good, yeah. Everyone has the pit. Dust pit, except Higgs, yeah. <laughs> oh, and they're coming up to back markers now. So we're going. Well, this should be. <laughs> Here we go. We'll run through the list on a bit of manual directing. Steve-O up here, front man. Ten seconds, just about. Fuck. <laughs> so that's Felix behind him with the no front. He still hasn't got his front fixed. Yeah. Shit. Felix had his front fell off. The front fell off. Literally, I uh, might have to have some words with uh, Mercedes after this race. I think it's Mobile One he's sponsored by. Um, him fulfilled his needs. They seem to be putting all their money into Stevo at the moment. Yeah, they um, they really have. So Stevo's car is bloody absolutely performing in line with the top first tier of racing you can tell by the lead he has, they must have given the thinnest oil, the thinnest fuel. Oh yes, they must have put nitrogen in his tyres. <laughs> I think they might be. Top stuff. And then in second place we have Brody in the Aldi. Brody, aka. Alien Sheen. The Def Steen. And I bet you he's running on a default setup. Yeah, they'll be like. Guaranteed. Oh, I spent the last couple of months working on my setup, Brody B. Oh, I just jumped in. Yeah. He's a prick like that. Third place, we've got Kalen Chin. <coughs> he's uh, probably the youngest driver I've ever raced against. That's just stupidly fast. Great little guy, always forgets fuel. <laughs> Doesn't need it. Except for when he needs it. Yeah, except for when he needs it. That's his, uh, that's his motto, last couple of years. Yeah, it's very, very good racer, very clinical. I said, no, no public driving influences on that young fellow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's fun. That's the it's all about the race. I do enjoy battling. Usually gets a better of me, but say uh, we've—I've only ever had one, one outcome where I managed to stick it out. Yeah. Oh, that's what me and you were doing it, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, we yeah, yeah. were in a race. I had <coughs> young Kalen behind me for like eight minutes. It was like the longest eight minutes I've ever had. It's a long eight minutes. It was in the WTCRs. Ah, Paul Ricard. Oh, that was a good race set, actually. That was a yeah. bloody good race set. Unfortunately, my brother beat me on that one. Yeah. But we managed to beat Caleb, so that was the most important. <laughs> the, the slightly mad crab. The slightly mad too. crab. Yeah, yeah. He was slightly... <laughs> he was pretty angry that day. He definitely put down some, uh, some fast times. I could not catch him. When he's not angry, he drives like a girl. Yeah. So if you ever catch Mad Crab driving slightly upset, you're probably in with a good chance. Yeah, yeah. Most of all, he's probably wearing a skirt. Oh, you always wear the skirt. Oh, okay. It's quite well, often, I say to Ben, why are you wearing a skirt? 
race day? Yeah, it must be good for his legs. Does he wear high heels as well? Well, he's got long legs, so pants that uh, fit are quite expensive. Ah, uh, yeah, it makes sense. There's nothing wrong with a skirt. Depends on the occasion. Yeah, it's a formal one, so you yeah, can probably yeah. wear it anywhere. If it's silk or something, I'm slightly worried. God, these guys are bloody battling. Righto, we got fourth, which is John Bradshaw, which has got fifth place, <coughs> Rom, right on his tail. Yeah, John's, John's slowly getting the gap. Slightly. But Rom's in that bloody... He's got that... Uh, what do you call it? Draft. The draft. He's got his yeah, window yeah. open slightly. Is that the draft you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, that's the one, mate. So he might try... Say the last couple laps, he'll... He'll try and dive bomb. See, John could move over now before... No, he's not nah, going. I don't think John will move over now. I he'll, reckon he'll, be he'll block, fun. he'll block. Yeah, see? John's inside. Blocking. Rom almost read it. Ooh... When the camera changes, it takes me a minute to work out who's who. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> John's the first 84, and Rom's the second 84. <laughs> <laughs> Get different numbers, you assholes. <laughs> Come on, if you're going to have a close race, let's pick different cars. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And then I'll fill in sixth. He's playing the long race. He's got... Yeah. Dylan behind him, he's only two seconds behind him. And then Scuba Steve is only three seconds behind there. So if they have any sort of whoops, any sort of <coughs> steak, a uh, rump steak, a little bloody, a little bit of chopped up steak, it's a any better, steak, yeah. they will close that pack. Keith has got that port back in ninth. Seven yeah. seconds behind Scuba Steve. That's which is unusual. Must be his, um, yeah, I don't know. Heath must be, um, lap. Porsche must have done something to the car. BOP or something. They must have slowed it down. A 158, that's a, a 158, 50, 28. Really? Which is his last lap, which is his fastest lap of the race. So he either went out with full fuel or he's suffering a wee touch. Oh, Flex has just got front aero damage, so... And he's doing 59s. That's still pretty good. Yeah, especially with... If Heath is only busting 158. 58.5. Oh, I'll switch to Heath now and see what he's up to. So he's catching... He's catching Scuba Steve, slightly. With 10 minutes ago, you'd be... Maybe hopeful Scuba Steve might check the mirror a bit often. Yeah. Make a wee bit of a mistake. Scuba Steve's best lap is a 159.5. 58. It's a whole second that he made up on him his last lap. It's very, Ten minutes ago, it's mm, very unfortunate. Like. Alex back in the Beamer. He's in the 159. One, one minute. The two minute mark, pretty much. What's Boothy up to? And then we got Kerry, he's way back in the 11th. He's oh. made it all the way through this race though, he's in this A-lead oh, lap. Oh, did Rom get past? No, he's not in the lead lap, he's in the 24th. Oh, Kerry, just as I go to your commentator's curse, proves you. Pulls you in for a spin. Sorry, mate. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry. Better get that turn around because Felix is catching up. I know he's a lap behind. Oh, the bloody the the snake and leather man filter yeah, is I'll catching. I'll let you get back on the track. Boothy. Felix out the back, <coughs> living life, accepting the place where he is, knowing that next time he'll be up top. Yeah, I think he'll be having words to his team. Oh yeah, I wouldn't want to be in the team meeting after this. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be. Over one. Brody's sort of cut down the gaps, Steve-o. He's up to six seconds. 
But Brody's cut away from Chin. Yes, he 15 has. 15-6. Yes, as well as Rom getting past Bradshaw, we'd miss that. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, coverage of the tails. <coughs> Uh, his tyres must be saying that we're at. And must uh Darren Lester. I don't know if it's Darren. But well, sorry, the mate. last lap. Oh, what are the last laps? Last laps are uh, one one point two seconds apart. Rom with the better. I don't know what sort of fuel John took on. But they are super matched. They said yeah. their best laps. Uh, 0 0.03 difference. Wow. 158.06 versus 158.03. That's mathematics right there. This is... <laughs> that, <laughs> that's math. <laughs> My favourite. Acronym. Manfield, it's probably the best looking car on the track. Looks like a Dodge Viper, sort of. Which one? Uh, the Man Filter one. The Man Filter. Oh, uh, you know, the the gold, the canary yellow? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know they used to have a Dodge Viper GT3? Um, they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't say I've ever seen it. But yeah. I did see, I actually saw a convertible Dodge Viper today down the main street of Green Island, Dunedin. Hey, weird. Shane didn't believe me. He's standing right beside me. He's like, no way. <laughs> Shane, I sort it out, mate. <laughs> Was Shane uh, the one shagging on the sheep? And uh, Dunners? I think it was actually. Yeah. There's only about three of us down here, so. Oh, uh, yeah. If it, wasn't, if it wasn't me or Bill, it must have been Shane. Can confirm. Nat Dick's mate sh was shagging on a sheep. It was a concrete sheep, so it doesn't count. Oh. As a real sheep, just for those people out there that are keeping count. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Australians that are watching, it, no Velcro gloves were needed. <laughs> it was a pretend sheep. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> but yeah, that was a real treat thing in Dodge Viper. They're quite a big car when you're in a little city. Yeah. I remember when I was in America, I saw my uncle. And, um, well, you do he, that. He, he came and picked us up. Bradshaw's flashing his lights. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Picked us up in a, a Jaguar. And he was like, oh, I was like, oh, you picked us up in a Jaguar. And he was like, no, Jaguar. They Jaguar. It, yeah, Jaguar. I was like, fuck, that's fancy. Who says it like that? G'day, uncle. How's yeah. the Jaguar? Jaguar. Lived in San Francisco. San Francisco. Oh, Lester. Coughing a slowdown. That's not what you want you be want to be doing when you've got scuba steve right on your tail no when you're right behind phil who's he <laughs> <laughs> wrong way around but Come this is where you talk about this is where you can this is where you can scrub time <laughs> scrub a slowdown without really losing too much time slowing down now on the decharge a wee bit early and then pulling up when you meet the other car at the corner so you can match your apex speeds. Great trolls a bit worse on the... We're getting rid of slowdowns. No one's hit the inside barrier on the last corner today. That's been pretty good going. Yeah. Just usually catches someone out and maybe rips Felix's front off. Maybe that's how it happens. Yeah. Maybe. Great trolls a bit loose on the tyres. Oh, Brody. Yeah, he's done his slow down, he's, but he fills now a couple of seconds away from him. We'll see what Bradshaw can do. Is Bradshaw going to get Rom? Who are they chasing at the moment? Brody's got to slow down, but it's probably not going to affect too much there. He's got a massive 21 seconds. 
on the chin. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Another slowdown for Broads. And then uh, there's a 20 second gap between him and Rom. Massive. Boys are pretty happy. Four minutes to go. You'll be pretty technique. All you have to do is keep your car on the track. The last four minutes, boys. Sort it out. I don't know if it's a second gap between these two because they'll be drafting each other. You know, they come out the flick so. Yeah, and back then it was second. Bradshaw found some time. He's gonna. What's the lap time? 2 158, 158. Ooh, two laps and the third. Peter Brock was watching this, he'd be disappointed that he sees a mobile one. Well, he's, he's it. gonna get it. Here's some excitement. We've got Rom and Bradshaw coming up to Felix. Will Back. it slow Rom down much? Will he lead him through? Felix will lead him through, but if he's only in, in a corner, you can't really do much, but it's hold your line. Which may need Rom to... Oh, yeah, the Felix is well out of the way. Oh, yeah, he pulled over. Let's say it was a good good place to meet. If it was in the in and through a corner, then you... I mean, you can't tell Flix how to get off his line halfway through a corner. Let's say Rom made that through clear. Pulled away another half second on Bradshaw. Rom's quick through here. Yeah, he is. When Bradshaw will probably close it up on the other half. He's been to up to 1.8. Here we go. 1.7, 1.6, staying pretty consistent for the last laps. Last laps so are 158.9 versus... John at a 158.7. Yeah, he must be losing tires. Point two in it. Oh, he's flashing lights. He's doing everything. One point four. So he's given away half a second. He was at the same stage. Was like one. It was like under a second behind. Which we can confirm by a 158.8 with a 159.4 in our last laps. I wonder if they're fanging for a there in second gear. I think John's tyres are starting to go. They must have been getting pretty hot. He would have been pressing hard. Yeah. I mean, you're there to do a job. Oh, oh well, let's see how the race leader's going. Now by himself, clear space. Six Nothing seconds. but goodness. His last lap was a 157.45. Steve -o must add something happen. Six second gap. Yeah, we'll have to check that out. Let's have a look at Steve-O. Brody's slightly catching him. So he's just gone over the line, putting down the necessary last lap. Ten seconds to go. Getting out wide, using all that track, giving yourself the maximum turn and right on on the apex line, coming out, middle track coming in for the other line. This is a critical point of getting that wheat. Carrying down your maximum speed. Speed, mate! Thought I have speed. Versus there. Local legend Brody Steen in second. 
Oh, he's pulled a second. Oh, no. Well, Scuba Steve and, uh... That's the cock. <coughs> the cock, as we called him, has caught up. No, he hasn't. He's still two seconds off the scuba. Steve. Oh, he's pulling. He's pulling the gap. He's pulling the, uh... <laughs> Steve oh, I'm not say it. <laughs> 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 Is it Steve? -o? I don't know. So Brody's only a straightaway. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good for the Audi. People don't like using the Audi. Everything that's slow, but oh, the Audi's good. The hands are green. Good enough to be six seconds off the pace of the uh, Mercedes. Kalen's way back, 30 seconds behind. But still putting down good times for the mid pack. Being wrong behind him, 159.9s, Kalen's rocking 159 flat. But Stevo's last lap was a 157.9. So Jesus Christ! A whole second faster. So the lead extending. Got it sorted. Oh, here we go. He's just abusing everything. Heath was a second faster in the last lap. Yeah. Oh, then he's gone and got himself a slowdown. Oh, but oh, I don't get a bit jiggy. People say Heath gets jiggy with it. <laughs> yep. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Get jiggy with it. Oh, he's a bit slow there. Scuba Steve, but slow there. Right away at the end, is Heath going to come around catch yeah. Nero? He's got to run on him. He's got to run. Uh... Oh, he's slowing down, aren't we? Good stuff, Alex. Sold 10. Good Beamer. They only Beamer to finish. Higsy was going around Nordcypher. As you see, the winner's there. Steve O, Steve O, and a car in front of me that's just wrecked. And it looks like I have another crash. <laughs> Steve O, Brody, Chin, Rom, Brady, Boothy, Lester, Scuba mm -hmm. Steve, Cochran, uh, Alex, Flexo, Mixo, and Higsy. DNF. Ah. Oh. Should have, should have. Oh, did Kiri fill out the Yeah, he did. Oh, top, top marks for Kiri Smith. He's always in there. Yeah. Keep showing up. That's what we talk about. So it's not, it's not where you finish, it's, it's how you start. Yeah, exactly.